All right, so let's talk about percent of capital. Now, this is something I'm sure all of you have heard, and I'm sure the majority of you don't uh, employ. You must start, as I st stated earlier, you must start out with adequate amount of capital. Okay. Uh, if, once again, if you're trading the spot currencies, I would say minimum twenty thousand. If, if you're trading, you know, micro accounts or mini accounts, five or ten thousand is fine. Now, we always want to figure out how much we're going to risk per trade. Not not how much you know we have a capital used in the trade, but how much we're going to risk. In other words, if we got stopped out, if we lost on the trade, how much would be we be risking of that account we have? Say we have twenty thousand. Say we have a hundred thousand. Say we have five thousand. How much of that amount would be we risking? And the normal amount is what's usually taught to people is two percent. Now, I personally like to use one percent or less. Other traders like to use even go up to as high as five percent. But the normal amount, if you're trading, especially if you're just starting out, would be two percent or lower. So on any one trade, whatever your capital is, meaning that whatever cash, hard money you have in your account, only two percent of that should be at risk per trade. Okay. So if you have a $10,000 account, you should only be risking $200. If you get stopped out, your largest loss would be $200. And if you're a conservative trader, try to include the, the spread slippage with that. You know, maybe it'd be three or five pips, whatever. Uh, try to include that if you can, if you really want to be conservative about this, okay? So this is one thing, once again, I'm sure the majority of you have heard this. The majority of you are familiar with this. And I'm guaranteed that the majority of you don't use this. <laughs> And, you know, I've talked to so many of my uh, students and, and, and people that I'm mentoring and, and other traders, and they all say, oh, yeah, it's all 2% rule, right. And then I ask them if they use it, and they say, well, uh, I had a good feeling about this one, so I risked, you know, 5 or 10%. And it may work out, but it'll be that one trade that doesn't work out where you really give back a chunk of your capital. So your risk on any trade should, on average, be only 2%, okay? All right, so let's go now to the position sizing formula. This is the, the our RPS is what we talked about. You may want to get out your pencils and paper. All right, so what we want to do is, firstly, we want to determine the risk, okay? Determine the 2% risk amount of your capital. So this means you have to know how much money you have in your account. This is not the leverage. This is not how much money you're able to trade with or how many how much dollars you can use in theory. This is the actual hard cash you have. Determine what 2% of that is, okay? Now, Let's go to the strategy part of this plan. Decide your stop placement. So we know where we're going to get in, hopefully, but you have to decide where your stop placement is going to be. In other words, that could be maybe if you're uh, uh, going short, that would be the recent high or the recent low if you're long, let's just say theoretically. So you have to know where you're going to get out. So many traders I talk to have no idea where they're going to get out if they're wrong. I know before every trade where I'm getting out if I'm wrong. This is before I even get into the trade. So you have to know where your where your stop placement is and because this comes into the formula. All right, so if you're stopped out at that stop, if it's a losing trade, what would be the total dollar amount of this loss? All right, would it be $200? Would it be $500, 1000 2000 You have to figure out exactly in advance, and, and this will come very easily after practice, how much dollar amount would you lose, okay? Now, Divide your $2 risk amount. In other words, this is the 2%, 2 I should say, 2% dollar uh, risk amount. This is the 2% of your capital by your total stopped out dollar loss amount, by how much you would have lost in that one trade. All right? And this will give you the number of lots or units to trade. And we'll just round off to the nearest number for the proper position size. As I said, this may seem a little wordy, or maybe many of you may have heard of this before, but I just want to, uh, you know, have this down in writing so that you can copy this down and you can go back to it and look at it later on. And I'm going to show you how to apply this much simpler with looking at some charts and some examples, okay? So uh, if, if you're interested, you can copy this down. But this is very important. This is why we always say you have to know how much money you have in your account and you have to determine a risk amount, which is usually 2%, and plus you have to know where your stop is going to be because we need to know if you're wrong, if you're stopped out with a loss, how much dollar amount would you lose if you were trading one unit, okay? All right, so let's sum this up right here real quick. This is the RPS formula. Very simple, but this is just what I explained, but looking at more of a mathematical calculation here. RPS, R equals that 2% risk amount we're talking about, okay? So if you have a $10,000 account, you're risking $200.
P equals the PIP dollar loss if stopped out. So in other words, if uh, you know you lost five hundred dollars, that's uh, what equals P is the PIP dollar loss. Okay, and then S equals the size. So what we want to do is we want to have R divided by P, and this gives us our size. We'll just round it out to the nearest number. And it's very simple. I know this may seem a little calculated and, and like, wow, I have to do this before every trade. You know, in the, the, the heat of the moment here, I might uh, uh, lose concentration. But after practice, after doing this, maybe paper trading doing this, it's really not as difficult as it may seem. You'll get very used to it, and it'll make you a better trader because you'll be adding more structure on the money management side of your trading. Now, you can apply this to any strategy, by the way. This does not have to be one of my strategies that I teach. Uh, you know, we have upwards of 10 strategies for Forex. But it doesn't have to be one of ours. It can be anything you've been trading already, just as long as you know your risk amount and you have a, a set stop in place where you know you're going to get out. All right, so let's look at an example here. All right, position size and example. Let's say you have a $100,000 account. I'm only saying that so it'll be easier for us to do the, the calculation, the math. <laughs> but let's say you have a $100,000 account. All right, so R, we want to determine the 2% risk dollar amount of that capital. So 2% of $100,000 is 2000 So basically what this means is on any trade, that's the most we're ever going to lose. If we get in and we get out with a loss, our loss will never be greater than 2000 Okay? That's our 2%. All right. So let's say we did get stopped out on the trade because we know where our stop is in advance. And so we just advantage that we got in and we got out with a loss. What would that be? This equals P, our PIP dollar loss if we're stopped out. Well, let's say it was a, we had a stop of 200 pips or $1,000. Let's just say they came out to $1,000. All right? Well, now what we do is this is R, 2,000, or I should say, or 1,000. I'm sorry. This is 1,000 per 100 pips. It should be 2,000. I'm sorry. So 2,000 divided by 2,000 equals 1. I'm sorry. This is a typo here. This was per 100 pips, so 2,000 altogether. Very good, Phil. Uh, 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 that's a very good. I know it's the same thing myself. That's a typo. So this is 2,000 divided by 2,000. So this automatically gives us a size. We should only be trading one unit. Okay. Now this is a very simple example. Uh, they most of the times you know won't be this easy and simple to figure out. But we're just trying to do it uh, regardless of the typo we have here. We're trying to do it so that you understand the process. Okay. So we have a hundred thousand dollar account. 2% equals 2,000. If we got stopped out at our stop level, we would lose $2,000. So we divide those 2,000 by 2,000 equals 1. Very simple, okay? Let's look at an example here in the euro dollar. This is an older chart, but we're just doing it for, uh, you know, uh, educational purposes just to explain this theory to you here. Now we have a $100,000 account trading the euro dollar. First thing we have to ask ourselves, what is our risk amount? 2%, okay? Now, you may want to change this. If you're really uh, conservative, you may say 1%. Or if you're a little bit more aggressive, you may be 3 or so. But I wouldn't suggest going up to those levels unless you're a seasoned trader, if you've been trading for a while. But if you're a beginner to intermediate, I'd say anything 2 or lower, okay? Now, I've been trading for a while, and I still trade only 1%, so it's really up to you. But let's say you're at the, the, the median level, you're at 2%. All right, so that means on any trade, you're only going to risk $2,000, okay? Now, we have some type of setup. We have a strategy setup to go long the euro dollar, but we have to determine where our stop is. So this is where we're going to enter, and this is fine. This is all fine and great, but where are we going to exit if we are stopped out? Well, here's our stop right here. Remember, this is all information you need to know prior to the trade, and we teach this at specialist trading, where to place your stops, where to place your entries, so you know in advance where they're going to be. All right, so we're entering here, and if we're wrong, we're getting stopped out here. What's that distance, or what's that dollar amount? Well, the distance is 200 pips, okay? And this time we have the calculation correct, so 2000, or 200 pips would equal $2,000, okay? This is the same example we went over earlier, but now we have the correct <laughs> typo here. All right, so we're risking... 2%, 2000 and if we entered and got stopped out, our dollar amount would be $2,000. So we divide R by P, and this gives us S, which is one lot. So that's how, this is a visual explanation of what I went over earlier. This is how you decide in advance. So you would know 
uh, exactly how to do this. Uh, Trying Trader is asking, what if this were micro lots? Well, you would just adjust accordingly, divided, I believe, by uh, a 10 for the mini lots and by another 10 for the micro. It's just, you would just adjust it and divide by how, how much they, uh, you know, have uh, decreased uh, proportionally. Okay? And that's all you do. It's a, it would be the same thing. So in other words, whatever uh, 200 pips is on a, a micro account, I believe it would be uh, $20. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't trade the micros, but I believe it would be, uh, or, and, and on the, uh, and on the uh, mini account would be $200. So you just adjust accordingly. Now, I, I imagine if you have a $100,000 account, you wouldn't be trading those. But if you have a $10,000 account, then you would just say, well, I'm only going to be risking 200 Okay? So just adjust accordingly, just divide accordingly to what the uh, pips equal in those certain accounts. 